Rotate. And we're rotating. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We clean off the camera. Make sure it's nice and clean of fire. There we go. Welcome to Bo Ray's Cajun Cuisine. I am your host, Stacy. I know y'all like, who is we looking at? Nobody but me. It's me, see? Hope you guys had a happy Sunday. Enjoy all of your football games. Before we do anything, let's pay the bills. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the notifications bell, and always comment. Thank you, because I enjoy you guys talking to me just like I enjoy talking to y'all. I be needing y'all love. I want to give out a lot of love, but I be needing some of that love back. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, what we're going to cook is a mahi-mahi fillets, which is fish. And uh, we're going to make uh, mango salsa and some garlic mashed potatoes and some roasted asparagus. I have to look up in my head to go like, what all you said? But that's it. Uh, mahi mahi, mango salsa, roasted asparagus, and garlic mashed potatoes. So I'm going to wait for a few more of you guys to come in. And then we're going to go get start. Go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and point you at the cooking station because I'm using the back side of the camera. And I cannot see any comments or anything else. Okay? All right. There we go. All right, so to point out all of our um, things, we got the mahi mahi fillets here. We have the mango that I've already cut up. I have a lime that I cut in half, because so we're gonna use that in the mango salsa. This is orange bell pepper. This is purple onion. I got some um, serrano pepper, but only because I grow this, but you can also use a jalapeno pepper. I have asparagus, garlic, minced garlic, lemon, and butter. And I've already started boiling the potatoes because I didn't want to keep you here long because I know uh, most people have work tomorrow. So I'm going to get started. Y'all put this on playback. I'm not going to play any music on this one because my shrimp and grits video YouTube will not air it in the United States because I played... Um, Curtis Mayfield in the beginning so hopefully they can I'm editing that out and hopefully they'll get it uh, going alright so the potatoes all I did was use regular old white rusted potatoes cut those up and started those to boiling and all I put in the water was um, salt so I'm going to dump this water off because I think they should be yeah they're done they are nice and tender so I'm going to pour the water off. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for spending your Sunday evening with me. I greatly appreciate it. It's just not talk. I'm for real, honey. Because we are struggling in this pandemic. And I am grateful that you guys are here. All right, this pan is hot, hot, hot. All right. So what I'm going to do is put half a stick of butter, which is four tablespoons of butter, into my garlic. I mean, into my garlic, <laughs> into my mashed potatoes. And then I'm going to put some garlic powder in there. Can you see that? Garlic powder. So I'm going to put some garlic powder in there. That's how they get to be garlic mash. Then I'm going to put a little onion powder because I like seasoning in my food. I'm going to do that. And then just a little uh, parsley flakes because guess what? It makes it all come together really well. And in this front pan, because it's hot, I heated that up really well. I'm going to go ahead and roast my asparagus. So the first thing going to the pan is some olive oil. And then I'm going to put in a little bit of butter. So two tablespoons. You can get away with using one, but I'm putting two in mine. For our mashed potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and start mashing those. Alright. 
I'm mashing right into the in the pot. I'm gonna put my asparagus in here, just like that. Yep. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. This is minced garlic that I'm using, so I'm just gonna add some of that in there, just to enhance the flavor of the asparagus. It makes it so good. And then I'm going to use some of my Boré seasoning and sprinkle that right on there. Hello, happy Sunday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm so grateful that you are here. Hope you had an awesome Sunday. I don't know if you watch football or not. Hope you enjoyed the football game. I don't do sports, but I do, you know, enjoy y'all talking about it. I, it's, it's the joy that is on everybody's face when they enjoy it. I just like everybody to enjoy whatever they enjoy, you know, as long as it's innocent fun. All right, if you're just not coming, all I did was boil some, uh, these are just rust, rusted potatoes, and I put butter, garlic powder, onion powder, and some salt that's it that's all that's in here and they look a little dry which they are so i'm gonna go ahead and pour in just a little bit of milk to cream them out to make them creamy and crank up this heat on that this is like a super easy quick meal and it's healthy minus the potatoes the potatoes kind of starchy Little more milk, and I'm gonna add a, without even tasting. I already know they need a little bit more of garlic powder, so that's what I put in there. And then stir it around. And this is a potato masher that I'm using. And there we go, creamy potatoes. Look how quick and easy that was. Now asparagus doesn't take that long to roast, so that should be pretty quick and easy. Once it's where I need it to be, I'm gonna add in just a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. Just like that. Can you see good? Can you see good? Do I have you on the other side of the room? Get you down in there. There you go. All right. That's good to go. We need to get out a nice little taste. See if it's at the flavor that we need it to be. Nope, need some salt. Gotta have salt. And I'm gonna put a little more butter in there. I always, you can always add seasoning to your food, but you cannot take it out, honey. They need a little bit more butter. But I can taste the garlic powder real good. Matter of fact, you know what? Don't be shy. Get with it, girl. There you go. Get that in now. My asparagus is almost ready. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to turn you right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the mahi-mahi fillets together. And these are just some frozen uh, fillets I found at Sam. Yeah, Sam's Club. Sam's. At Sam's. Open good. Making it harder than it got today. All right, so let me rinse these off and then we're going to season them in the meantime, in between time. Can you watch that for me? Make sure it don't burn. 
because you're like, as if I'm there, I'm not there, girl. All right, my fillets are, have been rinsed off, rather. I'm just trying to get them to that roasted look. Crank it up just a little bit. And this is such a delicate fish. It doesn't need a whole lot of seasoning, which is a good thing. So I'm just going to sprinkle it just with a little bit of the Boré seasoning. And just a little tad bit of garlic powder. Only because I like garlic powder. And you can do this to any fish uh, of your choice. Whatever you like. But this fish cooks real fast. And it's a nice white flaky fish. It's really good. So I'm going to set that to the side. And then I'm going to wash my hands. So we can assemble our mango salsa. And I'm going to ask again. I hope you had a good day. If you did not. I pray that your tomorrow is better and your whole entire week is better. Always remember to check in on you. If you get, you know, if you don't have anybody around you, call other people, check in on them. You know, that kind of lifts your mood and help you. It, it, I know it helped me because today I felt a little, I felt a little lonely today. I felt like, oh my God, I really honestly did. I felt so alone today, but somebody called me, the good Lord put me on the mind of somebody and they reached out, they called to check on me and they put me in a better mood. All right, now we got all that good seasoning in there. We can't let that go to waste. So I'm gonna pour in just a tiny bit of, look like more than a tiny bit, but it's just a tiny bit of olive oil. them apart just a little bit. While that's doing that, what did I do with my bowl? Give me one second. I'm trying not to wash too many dishes tonight. And if you guys are looking for the shrimp and grits video that we did last night, uh, YouTube took it down. Uh, well, YouTube is not airing it in the United States of America because I played Curtis Mayfield. But I edited it off of there using their software. So, pay out for that, honey. They let y'all see it because it was so good. Alright, so that's cooking. While that's cooking, we're going to go ahead and assemble our mango salsa. So, I've already cut up the mango right here so i'm gonna get that in there and that was the seed i know somebody was like that's a big old piece of mango that's actually the seed i just kept it so i can get some of the well actually one thing i want to show you is all i do is score it while it's on the seed and then just cut it off just slice it off of there so i'm gonna eat on that won't not waste not right let me cut this heat down so we got our mango in here. So I'm going to put in a little, this is orange bell pepper. That's all that is. So I'm going to get that in there. You don't have to add that. This is something that I'm adding. This is purple onion. So I'm going to pour some of that in there. Put all that in there. Why not? And then this is chili. Get that in there. And I'm going to squeeze lime juice all over it. that in there oh I was like what is that it's pepper one last thing my mind is telling me is to put in a little bit of pineapple so I got some pineapple here I'm gonna put in there get a little bit of pineapple I buy my pineapple uh, 
in a big old, you like in the industrial can because I make smoothies. There we go. We're gonna get I'm gonna put a little bit of tahini in there because I just like the seasoning. This right here. So get that in there. It just amps up the flavor. Then we're gonna mix that around. And that's it. That's mango salsa. That's all. Mango salsa. And you can make it however you want to make it. It's all kind of ways. See? That's all. You can see the tahini on there. Can you see that? Yeah. And we set that. And then we go back over here. I know y'all like, oh my God, I keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened when you ain't got no cameraman. All right. Come on, filet. We ready to make, we can start making our plate. Let's take our potatoes. Actually crank up the heat because I made them just a little too loose. But I can take some to see. Perfect. Now that's how you suppose that's how they supposed to taste. That's good there. Now they are too loose, so I'm going to boil some of the milk I added out of there. Let them do that. And we can go ahead and flip our Hey Bridget! Y'all know I have to walk to the other side of the camera to see you. Anybody saying anything? Hi, family. <laughs> All right. Turn that over. All oh, perfect. Look at that. Now that's perfect there. And we just need it to finish on the other side. We can go ahead and start assembling our plate. Mm -hmm. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Is this, this is the plate I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of the asparagus and place it on there. Just like that. And then all my potatoes ready yet. Come on. Come on. All right. Let me turn it off. Almost there. I like mashed potatoes, but I don't like them loose. They too loose right now. Come on. Anyway, while we do that, how has y'all Sunday been going? Huh? I know y'all like, who is the face behind? Who is the person talking? It's me. Hi. <laughs> All right, we almost done. We almost, let me tell you, this was the quickest meal ever. This went so fast. We probably ain't even been on here with 20 minutes. Almost. All right. Now, I'm going to put my potatoes on here. What you say? Ghosts and yours. What's ghosts? Us? Oh, your Sunday was a ghost too? My Sunday was definitely ghosts, if that's what you're saying. 
honey. Oh, look. Let me tell y'all something. Look how easy that went on there. That was so quick. All right, now let's put some of this on here. I'm digging towards the bottom because some of that lime juice and pineapple juice are married down in the bottom. They got married, honey. And that makes it really good. I'm talking real good. And there you have it. Look at that. Look at that. See? Restaurant worthy, darling. Restaurant worthy. Super easy, super quick. And we're done. That's it. That's 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 literally the end. Thank you for joining me. You are the best ever. And don't let nobody tell you no different. Because if they do, they lying. And we don't listen to liars, now do we? Alright, I love you. You are the best. Be still my heart. Um, See y'all Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. So we're going to do Facebook Live Tuesday. I hadn't decided what I... Oh, I have decided what I'll make. It's going to be corn pudding. Because I got two people. That asked for some corn pudding and I still have not figured out and nobody has helped me figure out who wanted these doggone things that's sitting on my counter collecting dust. So, we're going to have to make those. But we got some corn pudding we're going to do on Tuesday. Boop, we're going to put that together. Alright, I love you. Have a good night. I know y'all got a long week ahead of you. It is a holiday week. So, if you are by yourself. I pray that you don't feel lonely, and if you do, jump in my inbox, because most of the time, I'm by myself, too. And I don't want to be by myself. Uh, in spirit. We can always join up in spirit, right? Alright, Father God, I thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. I pray blessings and an abundance of your love cover each and every one. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, y'all.